Hey guys, today I'm in East Williamsburg on a very windy day and I'm here to look at some new street art. Before I do that though, I figured we'd stop at this building here, which used to be an old firehouse. I believe it was engine 206, I think it was. Now, the truck was more interested in what I was doing than actually riding. Now, this building was built in 1869, believe it or not, and the firehouse closed in 1976. Let me cross the road while I got a chance. Nowadays it's just uh, residential apartments, and in fact it's still called the firehouse, look at that. I thought that'd be a nice start to the video. Now the other day I was taking a bus down here and I saw all this new art here. And I went online and back in October of last year this art wasn't here. Then on uh, Google Maps I saw a November update and it was here. So this art went up between October and November of 2020. Now I know the street art videos don't do very well, but I really like street art to be honest with you. I have a friend of mine in Korea uh, nook and cranny and he always films these areas in uh, Seoul where there's a lot of street art that spices up the area a little bit because some of the places he goes to are uh, a little on the run down side and I always really enjoy the um, the videos where there's street arts on the wall just to make the place you know seem more livable And like I said, this art here has only been up, uh, what is it, about four months now. Now normally I don't walk like super slow. Yeah, I like to get a shift on. But today I want to appreciate the art a little bit. Now, I'm not sure how far it goes around the building. I know there's some on the side, but I don't know if it goes to the back of the building. So this will be new for us. Or new for me, should I say. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I was on the bus and we were passing, it was this lady here that really got my attention. It was one of those ones where I was like, oh wow, look at that, isn't that cool? And hopefully I'm stood far back enough that we're able to get the uh, full image in there. In fact, I'll just step into the road a little bit. Then we'll definitely get it. But isn't that a really cool piece of art right there? When you're passing by on the bus, uh, it certainly catches your attention, that's for sure. And hopefully I can get a good enough shot of that one. Uh, I can make it my uh, thumbnail if I can. Now, I couldn't quite work this one out, but... I think there's a face in the uh, top north corner there. Maybe I'm making a fool of myself. But as it was new, I thought we'd make, a, make for a nice video today. Um, you know, these artists put a lot of work into this for the neighborhood. And why not share it with the world? Now, 
Now I see uh, Meris One up there. He's the guy who did all this. I'm not sure if he's the guy um, who created the five points area. I was doing a little research today and uh, I'm going to be honest, I, I kind of forgot all the names I was reading. But I'll correct myself with uh, text if I'm wrong. Now like I said, normally I don't walk very slow on my videos. Let's see what we got here. Oh good, I'm glad there's nobody sat in the truck there. Unfortunately, that's a show I never really got into. Uh, I kind of watched the first season, but... Yeah, it didn't really uh, capture me, Stranger Things. Now, this is a cool piece right here. It's like an updated uh, Mona Lisa with the New York backdrop. <coughs> taking a selfie. Well, the New York backdrop like that, who wouldn't take a selfie? Because it might not even be the Mona Lisa and everybody's laughing at me, but hey, I'm, I'm going for uh, a bit of self-deprecation every now and then. But you can see how new the art is, because obviously she's wearing a mask there. And prior to COVID, people in New York didn't really wear masks. So now we're coming up to the corner and I'll find out whether or not it goes all the way around the building. Otherwise it could be a short video. Somebody else taking a selfie. Uh, is that a raccoon? It's probably a character that's very famous and I'm just too stupid to know. <laughs> and actually, if you look, it's like... Uh, is it a truck or... A railway car? This might actually be an hom homage to when people used to paint the railway cars. Let's have a look around the side, see if it carries on. I'm hoping it does. And if it doesn't, then the video will, will abruptly stop. So we're about to find out. Oh, it does. Oh, cool. So it's going to be a longer video than I'd anticipated. I always try and capture the names of the artists if I can. And that way people can look their work up wherever else these people have done it around the world. Because the people who tend to do art this good, they tend to go all over the world doing their, uh, sharing their art with people. Thank you. 
So it looks like it kind of runs dry right here. These are the, uh, the last pieces. So it looks like somebody might be getting ready to put a new piece up. Or maybe not. I'll see if I can get a long shot of that on the other side and then that'll wrap this video up.